So it's, now it's at the Grand Canyon. There was a, a female too, which is surprising. It's usually the males, but this was a female. And that was just a couple months ago. Yes? You said that some Well, it, out west, uh, the, main, the main opposition is from ranchers because they'll kill cattle and so forth, and hunters because it reduces the size of the elk population and the number of you know, elk available for humans. I would say those are probably the two main interest groups. Uh, there is, you know, culturally, there's sort of the, the big bad wolf, some people just sort of have a bias against wolves, which seems to be inherent in, in, in at least some, some people. I don't quite understand it, but you know, it's, I'm not them, right? <laughs> uh, but probably the ranching uh, egg industry is probably the most uh, actively uh, opposed to wolf reintroduction. In your yes. recent trips, have you come across any wolves? Oh, I've seen hundreds of wolves uh, on the northern range. A uh, couple of pretty memorable ones. Uh, one time I was out in the Lamar Valley and I was hiking to my, some of my plots and I was in this tall grass. And unbeknownst to me, it was the Druid Pax Rendezvous area. It's one of the packs there. And I was walking through this tall grass and all of a sudden, I mean literally, it was literally about like this. And there was about 12 or 14 wolves literally from me to Cindy right over there and right over there, they all got up at the same time and they just dispersed in, in all directions. And I was standing right in the middle, right in the middle of the pack. It, you. it was, an, it was a, uh, an astonishing experience actually. Uh, but yeah, I see wolves. I mean, you don't see wolves every day, but. Uh, and the nice thing about most of my uh, work is off trail. So it's one thing to stand with, you know, a hundred other people and look at it through a scope. And it's another thing to be walking through the forest by yourself or through the range and have one pop up 50 feet away. It's, uh, those are two totally different experiences. Yes? Do you carry a weapon with you on your uh, No. Bodies? No. And I have been within 20 feet of three grizzly bears in the park. <laughs> no, I don't carry. It, it always was illegal. I think, the, I think just in the last couple of years, they, it's now legal to carry a weapon in the park. Honestly, I mean, there's a difference of opinion on this, but the bear encounters I've, I've had, that I've had with black bears and grizzly bears, unless I was like, you know, had my finger on a trigger, I wouldn't have had time to do anything about it anyway. So I, in it, you know, maybe, I don't know if you disagree or, or not with me, and that we have a difference of opinion, but I don't think you gain a whole lot of safety by carrying a weapon. That's my personal opinion. Pepper spray. I, I have pepper spray to bear. So that's the kind of a weapon, I guess. Yes? Have you seen any difference in the aspen stands before and after the fire suppression policies have changed in the park? Um, not really. And I think if the browsing pressure wouldn't have been so high, you would have seen it. But there was so much browsing that was going on in the park that it, it just wiped out all these other variables. I mean, they just, you know, I, that, that was like the 88 fires. A, a, guy, a colleague of mine, he's at Utah State, Charles Kay is his name. He went in after the 88 fires and he measured just a huge amount of new suckering that was in these clones and stuff. And those trees, when I started measuring in those stands, they, they should have been 15, 20 feet tall. You know, they were like 10-year-old trees. They would have been at least that tall. Nothing. I mean, the, the elk just took the, whole, took the whole thing down. Did just the elk tree? Well, mostly. Bison, uh, actually, the bison population has gone up fairly substantially in the, on the northern range. They, they browse some, not as much as the elk do. What bison do, they're, you know, they're like, you know, they're like bulldozers, you know? And it, those pole-sized trees that are maybe two inches in diameter and maybe 15 feet tall, I heard a bison will walk through an aspen stand, they just snap them off at about three feet and they just make matchsticks out of them. So they do, they do damage, uh, but it's, they don't browse them. They do browse them a little bit, but elk uh, browse them, that's the main thing. Yes? Uh, 
Yeah, I, I kind of skipped over that because we were running a little short on time, but uh, the mountain lion population has rebounded pretty sub uh, substantially. There's a very healthy mountain lion population in the park now. The grizzly bears have been actually, th their population has also risen. And uh, I, I'm not a grizzly bear expert, but from the literature that I've read, part of the reason for that is they've been helped by the wolves because the bears, the black bears and grizzly bears, they come out of hibernation uh, in early spring, you know, and there's not a lot of vegetative matter around for them to eat, right? But what the wolves have done is they've put a lot of carcasses out there on a northern range from these elk and their bison that they have killed. And they're, they're a very important uh, nutritional source for the bears at a time of the year when they really need it because there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of uh, vegetative matter. So the grizzly population has been up. Uh, the beaver, uh, Ed, when Edward Warren did that study in the 20s, there was beaver all over uh, in the central portion of the northern range. After the uh, wolves went out, the beaver followed within a decade or two. They were almost locally extinct because the elk ate all, the, all their food up, uh, all the aspen, and the, you know, they cut down the trees for their dams and there was no new trees. They ran out of food and construction materials. Beaver have come back very strong on the northern range. That's kind of what the hidden animal thing is about, is all these, all these changes that have occurred in the system that are sort of unintended effects of the reintroduction of the wolf. Uh, 